This morning, TikTok fighting back, suing the government over a potential U.S. ban. TikTok is suing the United States government over the ban. And can I just say on behalf of all of us, thank you. Thank you. Someone had to do it. The social media platform and its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, claim the proposed ban is unconstitutional and bars every American from participating in a unique online community with more than one billion people worldwide. President Biden signed a law last month that would ban TikTok unless it's sold to a non-Chinese buyer in 9 to 12 months. Congressional leaders and the FBI have warned China's government may be able to use TikTok to control software on its 170 million users' devices. And they said, we want you to put out videos that make Americans fight with each other or spread conspiracy theories and get them at each other's throat. ByteDance doesn't have, can't go to Chinese court and fight the Communist Party. They would have to do it. That's my understanding. But TikTok denies any security risk. I have seen no evidence that the Chinese government has access to that data. The new lawsuit also argues selling the app so quickly would not be feasible due to what would be its huge price tag and the sophisticated code and algorithm that underpins the app. Google's the former CEO, who once now. considered buying TikTok, says the app should not be banned. My own view of TikTok is that TikTok is not really social media, it's really television and that you can regulate television by the equivalent of the equal time rule, but somehow we're not having that conversation. But a new poll finds most Americans, 53%, support banning TikTok if it's not sold. This is not the first time ByteDance has filed a lawsuit in the U.S. It sued the state of Montana last year because of a similar ban, and a federal judge ruled in favor of TikTok and blocked the law. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.